Hey, what's going on everybody? Boylon here and today's not Vlogs with Boylon Friday, but we're still having a Marvel Strike Force Friday anyways. I want to talk with you guys a few things that we're wrapping up here at the end of the week. I also, in the second half of the video, I want to talk about dark promotion credits. So now that we have the ending of the Green Goblin event, some of you might be wondering, where do I put my dark promotion credits? We have had an uh, increase of the the cap of DPCs, but there's so many characters out there these days in terms of you know who you should be considering or not considering. So I want to go over my thoughts of who I think are still worth using your dark promotion credits on and uh, what you should be doing with them. So that's going to be in the second half of the video. So if you're ready to go, let's boil this down. And so as of recording this, we'll be having the end of the Green Goblin Classic Trials today at 1 p.m. Pacific time, or maybe by the time you've watched this, it's, it's already over. And so I haven't really done, you know, much beyond what I said I was going to do. You know, you guys saw the last video where I had cleared. Uh, this was another attempt because I was just basically doing a uh, showing off how to do node number six. But, but I did a nine node run with everything but the HP and Warp World. And so that got me to 1.352 million, literally just past the the mark where I got a four star Green Goblin down here at Milestone 43. Picked up the Darkonite. Actually, I still kind of need those. Actually, I need about 14 more uh, to finish off Doc Ock for DD6. Uh, but I did manage to get a four star Green Goblin. Now, where I'm at is it's probably still going to be a high five star. I think at this point, you know, I think there's a lot of people that, and maybe you know, maybe my video helped other people get past the 1.35 million mark as well. You know, with my new Avenger setup, uh, and so it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not that mad about that. Uh, so where am I going to be sitting at? That depends on the ranking, and I'll, and I'll show you what was mentioned yesterday as far as the payout. If I can get the the screenshot here, so this was yesterday at about uh, just just over 400,000 points which is the rank threshold for uh, 98,824. You know, we could round up at this point now because it's the last day. This was a day, this was yesterday, that we could say it was about 100,000. This is similar, I believe, to what Nova 1 was, which was four, or was not Nova 2? I, I don't know. Like, like one of them had a, basically a 100,000 rank payout threshold. So what does that mean for me? Well, assuming things don't really change that much, I mean, I guess, what was I at again? I forget, 69, so... I'm probably in the six to seven percent mark, and so that would put me. Ah, uh, I, I think it would actually. You know, it, it, I I think this is like four point oh one percent basically, or you know, to six point nine nine. I think that's what it is. So I I could maybe land here, but I could also land here by the time it finishes. So uh, if I did land down here, that would be two hundred and fifty shards. That would obviously give me about over halfway to six star. If I got the four to six percent though. I don't think it's a six star either. I think you need one to three percent actually, uh, because 20, 140, 300 shards, it would give me 170 out of 200. Either way, you know, I'm not that bothered. You know, I'm probably not. I'm not getting one to three percent, so I'm happy with whatever halfway to six star or almost six star. You know, so the next time that this comes around, I probably will actually go from there to a seven star with the amount of shards that I'll end up picking up. So uh, because there's 180, obviously, plus the stuff that you're giving here. So not too not too mad about that. And I think I'm making pretty good progress. I, I'm happy with a five star, honestly, because at the end of the day, you know, what does it matter if you have a six yellow, if you're not picking up the six red, right? Like even in these, even in these percentages, you're picking up a four red green goblin. And we're going to talk about that in relation to the dark promotion credits and where you should be putting that now, right now, and I, I just want, I'm going to say this right now because there's still some people who don't do this. And I want to make sure people are aware, especially now with the increase in red star orbs coming our way. Make sure that you are only opening these in the 10 times DPC era or feature, you know. So basically when new characters are not featured, make sure you're opening these for 10 times because you're getting a ton. This is where you get like 90% of your dark promotion credits other than three event milestones and things like that. And it's just so, so important. Basically, at this point, we get so many elite orbs. If you are going to pull, pull for new characters, only pull your, your elites for the new characters. I have so many. They just stack up because you're just over time, you get so many red star orbs that it's just, you know, you, you they eventually turn into this many elite orbs. And I have so many of them. You know, I basically been pulling elite sevens whenever I get them because, you know, now obviously uh, that matters for, for diamond orbs and things like that. So, uh, yeah, I do keep a handful of the fives and the sixes for new characters, but aside from that, 
you know, just 150. I can't even be bothered to open these because it's one at a time. They need actually like a 10 times button at this point for Elite Fours. It's just absolutely crazy. And so you can see that I have 4,200 uh, Dark Promotion credits. It now has a cap of 12,000, which is quite high actually. But in terms of where you should be, bleh, where you should be spending this, I want to go over the whole chart of all of the characters that uh, have dark motion credits and where I think that they'd best be used. Just want to double check. I thought I had another thing to go. Let's so let's move on to there. I think that's what I wanted to cover. Also, don't forget that uh, actually I wanted to raise this really quickly for the current Craven event that the offers have been coming out really late, uh, like really late, like sometimes in the morning. Like this morning, I found out that the web milestone came out. So make sure you're checking there and make sure you're checking in the in-game offers as well. For the arena credits, now it won't be there for me because I already bought it, but they've been doing two two purchases. So 2,000 milestone points per day have been down here at the bottom. So one yesterday, one to, uh, or one the, the first day, one the second day. And I thought it was only going to be like 1,000 points a day, but it's been 2,000 points a day. So make sure you're not missing out on that because that's a lot of additional points uh, for this. It's, you get about 1,000 points from the web claim and 2,000 for the in-game. So all that's going to add up 3,000 a day if you're missing out on those points. Because you should be able to get actually all the way up to milestone 16 if you're doing reasonably well in the arena. You could even get to milestone 17 now as a result of the additional points that we're getting from the claims. So don't miss out on any of this stuff because it might help you. And I just wanted to kind of point that out before we jump into the second topic. So let's move on to this. This is my, uh, and I, <laughs> okay, my answer, I'm going to try to hide my answers actually since it's already there. So I want to talk about, and you probably already seen it if you pause the video. I want to talk about some of the characters, right? So we have the, what I would call the Ultimus plus Dark Dimension characters here. Uh, even though Apocalypse is not uh, DD, I don't know, why is it there? I meant to put Super Scroll in, but it's fine. Super Scroll doesn't have DPC upgrades. Anyways, the Saga, we have Morgan Le Fay, Rogue, Red Hulk, and a a Archangel. And then we have the regular character. I dubbed the regular characters. The Zombie, Iron Man, Quicksilver, Spider-Man, Big Time, Zombie, Juggernaut. And then we have the Trial so far of Nova, Black Cat, Green Goblin, and whoever the Mr. Character is going to be. So these are quite a few characters, honestly, that uh, can be used for Dark Promotion credits. <sighs> My one issue... And I really hope that they'll consider this is I strongly believe that a lot of these characters need to be reduced in their value a lot. Honestly, at this point in time, it's funny because I'm pretty sure I saw like a blog post where they were talking about the reduction in dark diamond credits for these characters. I honestly believe, I don't even know where I saw it. I think it was somewhere in here, maybe, I don't remember. Uh, that I saw them talking about dark, dark promo credit characters, which I originally I thought it was, is it down here somewhere? Reward? I don't even know. I okay, it was somewhere. Anyways, you guys know there was a blog post talking about a dark diamond credits. I, apparently, that there is actually dark diamond credits for these characters where you can upgrade them to diamonds. But what they really need is a reduction in cost for dark promo credits. So as you can see over here on this side, you know six and seven star. Ultimus, Ultron, Doom, Dormammu, all of these characters need their dark promo cost reduced because nobody really wants to buy them at that cost when there's so many better things to do, namely Apocalypse. And I don't know why I don't have the, the cost for a four-star Apocalypse. If ever anyone knows that, feel free to leave that in the comments down below. It seems to be the one thing that I missed. I know that technically I, you get that from the, the Apocalypse Saga, the Big Boy Apocalypse Saga, but you can actually buy this in advance. Not that I'd recommend doing that, but uh, yeah, anyways. So five star apocalypse, six star apocalypse, and seven star apocalypse. Just look at the price differences, though. Like comparably, a six star uh, apocalypse to a six star Dormammu is like a thousand dark promo credits. Given the fact that apocalypse is way stronger than Dormammu, I feel like there should be uh, there should be like a half reduction, I think at least for Doctor Doom, and I think Dormammu should receive. Probably something similar, honestly, because we're not going to go out of our way to upgrade these characters, unfortunately, now versus, you know, something like Apocalypse. It's just not happening, right? So if we move over to the right-hand side, are they worth buying? Ultimus? No. Ultron? No. Doom? No. Dormammu? No. But if they had a reduction in price, I would consider it. Maybe that's just because I did get a, a one diamond Dormammu from the recent Stark Grand event. But at the end of the day, I, I think Dormammu is still a good character. I just think that it's too expensive. The costs are too prohibitive at this point. We're not getting enough dark promotion credits to justify that. You really should go out of your way to get Apocalypse maxed out first. If you have Apocalypse, make sure you're getting that seven red Apocalypse for him ASAP. 
Uh, there's none for Super Scroll yet at this point. So, I mean, after you get Apocalypse, you could start saving for Super Scroll if you want. So, like, when his Dark Promos do, uh, the, the upgrades do come out, that you could just fast buy them all because the cap is 12,000. But I'm really close to a 7 Red Apocalypse, and that's basically what I've been hoarding for for the last month or two or however long since they added the red stars for apocalypse that's that's i think the priority number one for you right now if you have apocalypse and if you're close to getting big boy apocalypse which is the four red save your dark promos to get upgrades for him you won't regret it because obviously he's just one of the best characters in the game and well worth it over some of the other characters now where some other discussion might need to be had is characters like morgan lefay rogue red hulk and archangel the four horsemen i think that's that's valid now uh, the thing is where is their permanent event where is it? Remember when they said that they were going to do a permanent event to replace their their um, you know their event every couple of months? Yeah, that hasn't happened yet, and I feel like we need to have a separate conversation video about that one because they made claims that they were going to make this permanent, and they still haven't done it for Morgan Le Fay, who had her last run quite some time ago. So, as far as getting stars for them, it was usually pretty easy to get a four red in the the payouts in the rank payouts uh, that you'd be able to get that. Now, as far as the other ones go, the fives, I think the fives are still worth it for some characters. For the six and the sevens, no. Unfortunately, the costs are too high, just like the other characters up here. Unless they get cut in half or more, I don't think they're worth getting. Now, who is worth getting? I would say to at least five. Morgan Le Fay, no. I mean, I, I love Darkhold, I love Morgan Le Fay, but I, I don't think you need to do this. Rogue, no. Unlimited X-Men, I feel are really falling off, and I think they're the first, they're the worst of the four in my opinion. Red Hulk, I believe, is worth the 5 red, because 1,200 is not a lot, but I would not go further than that, because obviously the jump between uh, 1,200 and 3,500 is quite substantial, especially when we're talking about having to save for Apocalypse. <sighs> Archangel, I said maybe, but honestly, I'm, I'm going to change this in, to no, but I'm going to change Morgan Le Fay to a maybe. So, uh, in terms of my priority of, of Horseman characters, I actually believe it's Red Hulk at the top, Morgan Le Fay, Archangel, and Rogue. I think Rogue's the worst. We know that there's going to be a mutant raid team uh, in the not-so-distant future, and so uh, he, Archangel's a, Death Seed's a good team, but I just, I don't know if that's going to make a big difference for people at this point in time, when we can just hold and wait for, you know, whatever comes next for the mutants. Uh, that being said, you know, Red Hulk, I think, is still going to stand the test of time a little bit. I, I think that, yes, there's more counters to Gamma, but I still think that Red Hulk as an individual character is still very strong. So that's just my opinions there. But of course, Above all else, Apocalypse is up there. So if you have big boy Apocalypse, make sure you're getting that seven red Apocalypse first. Let's talk about the regular characters. Zombie Iron Man, Quicksilver, Spider-Man Big Time, and Zombie Juggernaut. So flat out, I don't even know what the costs are for Zombie Juggernaut for the rest of the ones. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume it's like the same cost for Zombie Iron Man because it's, it's kind of matching the one, two, and three star. If you know the answer to that, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. I'm just assuming it's it probably matches Zombie Iron Man's cost. Uh, so zombie Iron Man, no, nah, you don't, you don't need, you don't really need red stars on him, and the costs are just way too prohibitive. Quicksilver, this is where people are gonna get, gonna wonder. I, I really like Quicksilver. I think Quicksilver is an amazing character. Um, I think he's worth it to four. I still think he's worth it to four. Um, he, his, his shards are very easy to get now, especially since he's fireable in Cosmic Crucible Store. Honestly, I got him to seven yellow very quickly as well. As far as after four. I think it's too expensive for right now. I mean, I really wish that these characters had uh, a reduction, especially as more characters come out. Spider-Man big time, absolutely not. And if I'm, if my chart is correct, and, and I hope it is, that you know, Spider-Man big time has, and, and actually he he does have six and seven now because they just recently added. But I don't know what the cost is because I don't know anyone who even has red stars for him that that high. But I wouldn't do it. I, I had a maybe here, but this this isn't updated, so I would put no now. I think Spider-Man big times time is over. He's not big time anymore, he's small time, uh, but Quicksilver I still think is a very solid character. He's a great plug and play that you should consider at least to a four. I think if you're free to play, I wouldn't go much beyond four. I think if you're spending on dark promos or the battle pass to get you additional dark promos, I would consider a five, but uh, again, back to what I said before, make sure that you're focusing on Apocalypse first only. And that brings us to the trial characters. So that brings us to Nova, Black Cat, and Green Goblin. Uh, and so Green Goblin just finished. So he's not, I don't think he's technically in the stars yet, but he will be, of course. Uh, and they just added the six and the seven to Black Cat with her second event coming around soon. So people will be able to get those higher red stars if they have the dark promos for her. So let's just go out and, and, and talk about it. So Nova, 
<sighs> I think all of these characters are worth going to four. Because they're only 600, right? 600 dark promotions isn't a lot at this point anymore. So I would get all of them to four. Um, but as far as going above four, I don't think Nova's really that worth it. I put maybe. And that's, that really depends on your dark promotion credit income. You know, if you're buying things, if you're not free to play, then you probably have a wiggle room to get a five. But beyond that, I probably wouldn't do it for Nova. Black Cat? I think she will be. I, I think that from what we remember from the arena meta, even from Morgan Le Fay, that the Darkhold was a very strong team, and it still is for a very long time. And so I think Secret Defenders will be as well. So between uh, Ghost Rider Robbie and Black Cat, the two strongest characters on the team, I think getting upgrades for them will be worth it. Is it more important than Apocalypse? No. So again, everything above all else, Apocalypse first, and then if you've already done that, you know, I think that getting a six and seven red eventually for Black Cat will lead you into diamonds, right? And so I think that that will be worth it. Green Goblin? I'm going to say yes, but I'm kind of biased because I really love Sinister Six, so I plan on getting the five red when it becomes available for Green Goblin, and I may do so for the others, but I won't do it ahead of Black Cat. So realistically, for me anyways, my thoughts are Apocalypse first, Black Cat second, Green Goblin third, and then you kind of have like a pitter, pitter patter, I don't know why I said that, of Morgan, <laughs> of Morgan Le Fay, Red Hall, Quicksilver. That's basically my thoughts there. Uh, I think I skipped Zombie Juggernaut, but yeah, he's a, he's a no for me as well. Uh, he's definitely whale cracking food, uh, so I would not even consider him. I don't know a lot of people talking about him at this point in time. And yeah, I mean, I would love to do some of these other characters like Dormammu, but unless they get an actual reduction in-game for their cost, it's not something that I consider. So I hope that some of this helped. Uh, I kind of wanted to rank them in a way, but I wanted to show off the chart as well just to kind of structure this a little bit better in terms of the various characters that are viable with Dark Promotion credits and my thoughts on each one of them. Uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously we only have so many Dark Promos that you're getting per, per month, and so you really need to consider that. If you are thinking about spending a little bit of money, though, not that I encourage spending exactly, but you are going to get a lot of it through the Battle Pass, the RTA Battle Pass. There is so many Dark Promotion credits. They added it back in, I'm pretty sure. So you get like uh, 1,500 there, 175 free to play. So like over the whole pass, I believe there's some more at the beginning, as, I think, as well. I hate the fact that I have to scroll all the way back. I'm pretty sure it's right at the start here, no? Yeah, so 1,500, tons, like over 3,000 Dark Promotion credits if you want to spend on that. Like again, that's going to cover a character or two uh, of those upgrades. So if that's something that you want to do, there is some value there, but I don't really spend on passes still. Uh, but anyways, that's the end of the video, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your weekend because there's no blog post, and I'll see you on the next video. Not sure when that's going to be yet. I'm going to take a little bit of a break this weekend, but otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. So that's it for me, and until next time, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you all later. Boy One, signing out.